blow my hair. It turns me on. Sarah and Abraham were among God's faithful servants. Abraham, because of his faith, was to be the father of nations, although he was childless. God told Abraham, Leave your home and travel to a land that I will show you. If you do this, I will make of you a great nation that outnumbers the stars in the sky. To your descendants, I will give this land. Sir, God can give his land and descendants. But I'm barren. I'm too old. I can't have children. Well, maybe we can have Hagar have our child. I think that's the best idea. And then after that, it will just we'll just take it from Hagar, and then it will be our child. It will be like mine. Exactly. Like new. I love you, Sarah. I love you too, Abraham. Abraham. Hi, Hagar. Hey, Abraham. Let's go. Okay. I hate you. It's my baby. I don't care. You're my servant. I get to do what I want. My baby. I can no, do what I Okay. Stop. I... Oh God, baby, I'm so I excited. Not... I'm going to be a dad. Hagar keeps being mean to me and it's not fair. She's mocking me. Well, she's your servant. Take care of her. I think I will. I chastise her and she has ran away. But she has returned. I'm worried about Linda too. I'm so glad that Ishmael has cuddled up to him. I love him so much. I'm glad you two became friends. I guess this is the child that God has promised you. Abraham, look, I'm pregnant. Oh, you're pregnant? Oh, God covered his hands for He really has gave his land and descendants. I love Isaac so much. He's growing up fast though. God is good. God never fails. God is good. He always keeps his promises. We should celebrate tonight. Really? Isaac, you're such an ugly baby. Ishmael, stop! Quit being rude to me and my son. I was the original son. I don't care. It's this ugly. one's better. It's ugly. Stop! Ishmael, leave him alone. He's gonna be better and he's gonna be God sent more than you were. <laughs> Ishmael's making fun of Isaac. I'm gonna kill him. But Ishmael's my son too. I don't care. You need to say something. God help! Go. I prayed to God last night. And even though it was hard for me, I let Ishmael and Hagar go. Good. Now we can start our life together with Isaac. And he can receive the special firstborn inheritance. God has called me to sacrifice my son. Oh God, what am I supposed to do? But God will fulfill the covenant. I must get this done. Son, huh? we must take a walk. Okay. <laughs> Son, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this, but. I have to do it. Boom! God, was, was that you? Yes, son. You do not have to kill your son Isaac. Like you have to show me <laughs> <laughs> your dedication. Right. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In conclusion, you can learn from the story of Abraham and Sarah that God is good. God never fails. And God always keeps his promises. Except for Trump. <laughs> <laughs>